SI recognized Rafa Johnson's extraordinary gifts prior to his triumph in the 1960 Summer Olympics. He was 1958 Sportsman of the Year. Now, the Olympic Games have been the site of some of sport's most memorable moments. Franz Klammer's exhilarating downhill run in the 76 Winter Games still has a powerful hold on our memories. For Klammer, for Johnson, the Olympics, they were the, the pinnacle of success. But for a Swede named Ingemar Johansson, the Olympics were the depths of despair. In the 52 Helsinki Games, Johansson was disqualified for stalling during a heavyweight bout. But the world of sport offers the possibility of renewal. And Ingemar Johansson seized upon that second chance and became the heavyweight champ of the world. Johansson was sportsman of the year for 1960. His powerhouse punching afforded a uniquely memorable moment. And the world of sport is made up of thousands of these moments. Ingemar Johansson was a five to one underdog when he challenged the heavyweight champion Floyd Patterson. Have you ever seen uh, Patterson fight before, Ingemar? No, I haven't seen him in person, but I have um, seen him on, on movie, and he was good. Uh-huh. Are you any better? I hope so. Boxing experts questioned his punching power and ridiculed his relaxed training methods. But most of all, everyone whispered that he was the reluctant Swede who had once been convicted of cowardice by the Olympic judges. On June 26, 1959, in Yankee Stadium, Johansson dramatically reversed that decision in boxing's only court of justice, the ring itself. In one of the most remarkable rounds in heavyweight history, Johansson knocked Patterson down seven times. In one magic moment, he erased his Olympic disgrace and won an identity that would last a lifetime. Ingemar Johansson, heavyweight champion of the world. The last 25 years have been filled with many unforgettable moments that sparkle like rare stones scattered across the landscape of sport. Things could happen during the heat of competition, and the world of sport has many mysteries. One that has never been solved occurred during England's Grand National, the most fearsome steeplechase in the world. The race course is four and a half miles long with 30 obstacles, and over the years, it has taken a terrible toll of both horses and riders. <laughs> 